Yo guys, welcome back to Brandon PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new uh, Barra Skuda. And this card is pretty cool. Now, it is very reminiscent of the old Sun and Moon Golduck, which had a very similar attack. Actually, I think it had the exact same attack, except that that Golduck only did 120 damage. Now, Barra Skuda does a little bit more damage, 10 more damage, and that does make all the difference. 130 is actually not bad numbers, especially, you know, against stuff like the Denes and, you know, other like big heavy hitter like GX Pokemon you can try to two shot them with cards like Vitality Band and Shina Punchment. Now the catch is of course you have to discard two waters from your hand. Now we actually did get some good support for this card over the time. Uh, we have Energy Retrieval to work with, we have uh, Fisherman, and we also have Capacious Bucket from the new set which also allows us to get just two waters out of our deck which synergizes perfectly well with our Barrascuta. We also have Training Court to help us out too so there's actually a good amount of ways to keep attacking with Spiral Jet every single turn. And with a lot of fire decks right now, maybe this card does have its place, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, before we get in the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Car Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCO pack codes, just head them over to Car Kevin TCG. You can pick up your PCO codes there. Of course, you have any cards or codes that you don't want to use. You can trade them in Car Kevin TCG in bulk, and you can actually get some cash and in store credit when you trade in cards and codes over to Car Kevin TCG. But of course, if you're still looking to buy codes yourself, like any Rebel Clash packs, team up codes, Unbroken Bonds codes, Get them over at Karkhaven. Of course, Karkhaven does have codes for like everything set related, like the pre-release kits, theme deck codes, all that good stuff, all over at Karkhaven TCG. If you pick up anything from there, guys, you can use my discount code, code LDF at the checkout. It will get you a 5% discount on your purchase. It supports the channel. Help yourself out, and it supports Karkhaven TCG, too. So shout out to Karkhaven, guys. Check them out and use code LDF. So... Let's take a look at the list now. So I've actually combined Bear Scuda with Inteleon, mainly because one, it gives us a backup attacker. Two, we can use Shady Dealings to actually find us pieces to the puzzle, like Energy Retrieval, like Capacious Bucket, um, and all that good stuff. So the Inteleon Drizzles actually kind of make a lot of sense in this deck, and seems to be a pretty good backup partner for a Bear Scuda. And again, 130 for one energy is pretty powerful. You're two-shotting stuff like Pikaram without Big Charm. You're two-shotting Raichu Raichu. You're two-shotting most big V Pokemon. And of course, you're also... Um, hitting hard and again for one energy it's just really good and um, the other stuff I put in the deck I have Mew to protect our bench I am playing Eldegoss there's no Deden in here this deck is technically actually a budget deck if you, you look at it Eldegoss guys you can get it for literally three rebel clash packs um, it's not that expensive so this deck is technically a budget deck if you want to call it that there's no Drachi there's no Dene in here and I don't think you want to use Dedenne. Um, with this deck, playing around with just one prize attackers is actually really good. And you can just use counter game with Eldegoss and use Float Up actually to put it back in the deck. So you don't really need to play Dedenne in here. I am playing Ditto, of course, because we do have it as an extra stage one. I got a 3 3 2 uh, Italian line, a 4 4 uh, Bear Scuda line. And yeah, we go to the items now and this stuff, making up a pretty good chunk of the deck. So the support ones, we obviously have our Capacious Bucket and Energy Retrieval. Energy Retrieval gets the energy back from the discard. And Capacious Bucket gets the energy out of the deck. Just synergizes so well with Bear Scuda. We also got Evo Incenses to find our evolutions. Just, it literally counts as a free Dizzle. When you have an Evo Incense and you have a Sobble or a Drizzle in play, it literally counts as a free supporter because you drop the Italian, you drop the Drizzle, get yourself a supporter. I got two rods to get our Pokemon and energy back. We got four quick balls for the search. Um, I would maybe consider playing Poke Common here too for more Pokemon search outs. Um, but I think you should be okay. Now I am playing a Shrine. Again, the extra damage is needed. The reason I'm not playing two Training Courts and only one is because Training Court is good. You gotta remember though, it does help your opponent, which is pretty relevant. Um, but the Shrine is just better for the extra damage. And this makes all the difference if your opponent benches it to Dene and you have Shrine even stick for just one turn and you end up sniping the Dedenne with an Inteleon for 20, you can end up knocking it out with a boss order bear scooter for 130. So the shine is just there for the extra 10 damage. Again, this guy it hits it hits good for one energy, but you need to do a little bit more damage for it to start taking two shots and shrine will get you there. And I am also playing Vitality Band to do 140 damage. Once again to do 280, which Vitality Band lets Spiral Jet two shot and ADP. And honestly playing two Vitality Bands might be better than just one, so keep an eye out on that. Um, I am playing a pretty interesting water engine. I'm actually opting for three research because there's going to be times where you have a hand full of retrievals and stuff and you don't want to end up discarding them. Um, but I am playing Fisherman. It's an experimental card. Fisherman just gets you four waters back, which helps you out a lot with Bear Scuda. Uh, I am playing Erica. Now, another good reason I have this in here is because sometimes you just have a hand where you just want to draw cards and you can just play Erica to draw you cards. And the drawing cards can help you find another water energy. Instead of dumping your hand with a research or Cynthia shuffling your deck back up, you can just draw. So Erica is just a really good supporter. Originally, I played two of these and I kind of want to go back to that. 
I am playing for Cynthia for consistency. Uh, one boss's order. I kind of want to play two because boss order is really important. But we do have the Eldegoss. And Eldegoss can be put back in the deck with counter gain water energy. So there are still some combos you can do. Uh, but I, I like having boss order. Great Catcher also would be really good in here too. It's a searchable card with Inteleon. And you can use Great Catcher to bring into Dene's. Because that's sometimes how you win the game with this deck is knock out Dene's. Um, I got one air balloon. Uh, mainly just here for Inteleon. Um or Sobble for f just have a free retreat pivot option because there's no Drachi. One counter gain lets you attack with Inteleon for one energy or also the Eldegoss. Uh, one Vitality Band. Again, I like playing maybe two of these. And then I got 11 Waters. 11 Waters is actually the sweet spot. I don't think you need any more than 11. I think 11 was literally perfect for this video. And it worked out pretty well. So let's go show off this uh, Barracuda deck here. See in action and uh, see if we can win some games. All right, guys. Let's get into our first match with our Barracuda deck here. We're up against... Um, ooh. This could be a Pika, or it could be an Egg Row deck. I don't really know how I feel about Egg Row because there's a lot of healing they can do. And we our damage output is kind of not the greatest. So when they have a healing mechanism like Egg Row, it doesn't really help our case too much. Uh, we are going to get that nice Sobble start here. We do have a Quick Ball. Get us the Era. Get us the Stage 1 boy. I think we'll attach the Sobble to try to retreat it. Unfortunately, it is, okay, we get the top deck. All right. Yeah, it looks like we are playing against a Rillaboom deck. Again, not a fan of this matchup. Uh, we're just going to get a second Sobble, I think. We're going to attach and pass. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Not looking for this. Now, this could be a Rillaboom VMAX deck, but if they're playing the Egg Row, I mean... Yeah, and yeah, they are. So we need to find Shrine. We need to... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, man. There's too much healing... We're never going to be able to take this thing down in time, bruh. We'll see what we can do, though. Hmm. Oh, I thought that was a training core for a second. It's the turf field. I'm blind. All right, well, we'll have to retreat here, I think, into the Barracuda. And we're going to... We can two-shot, I guess, with Vitality. Man, we're actually going to... Ooh, bring in my Sobble. That's fine. That's fine. We actually get to keep the energy, which is kind of low-key good. But again, they're going to be able to hit me with a coming hurricane. They're going to one-shot me. They can't one-shot Inteleon, which I guess is nice. Maybe we have that going for us. All right, we drew the evil incense. We're going to get ourselves the drizzle. Do we have the air balloon in the deck? We do. So we're going to have to get the air balloon on the drizzle here. Uh, we'll evolve the bench, actually. It makes more sense. We'll take the air balloon here so that we can retreat our Sobble. And we'll see if we can get a... Uh, double energy off this. If we can actually hit this though this turn, I think that'll be really good for us. They're going to KO us, but then we can respond with an Inteleon maybe, and it looks like we will be able to do it. Shuffle the deck for good luck. We do have both Inteleons too, which is good. Alright, here we go, Spout Jab. We didn't get another follow-up uh, Barracuda guy. There's a chance they don't have a supporter in their hand though. They're going to be able to heal a lot of damage. If we had a Shrine here and Vitality Band, maybe we could have set up a two-shot scenario if the Shrine stuck. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do that though. So we just gotta hope they don't have an energy. They had to play a boss's order, which tells me they might not have much here. But they probably do have an energy. But they would have played it by now, so I don't really know. I didn't knew. But they can set up a turn. Oh, I guess they could do Tropical Hour, which would be pretty bad. Good thing we have that counter gain. Counter gain with Inteleon, guys, is a really good combo. Let's you attack for one energy. Makes all the difference. There's the Malolana. That will heal them, unfortunately. They have to give up another Malolana, which means maybe we don't have to worry about that again. Uh, but this also means they probably can't attack me this turn, which is actually good. Unless they have a Dedene. Okay, they don't. We've lived to see another day. Now uh, we can just do Cynthia here. We could have attached the energy, but I'm going to hold on to it in case we don't get... Never mind, we got the Capacious Bucket. We have a lot we can do. So we can Quick Ball for another Aracuda. We can attach. We can do the Capacious Water Bucket. We have an Evo Incense. What could we get with that? I guess we can get the Shrine now if they're dead drawing. We might as well uh, get the Shrine of Punishment. Or if not, we can get Training Court. But we'll get the Shrine. Just The more damage we get on this, the better. I know it'll be able to heal. And they might have another Turf Heal in their hand. So this might have been for nothing. We'll find out. We're going to hit them for 130. They got 40 HP left. So two Inteleon Swings will knock out their Rillaboom. So maybe this might not be too bad after all. They also got rid of the double Mallow and Lana there that last turn, so we don't have to worry about Mallow Lana anymore, which is pretty relieving because Mallow Lana is not good for this type of a deck. And they're going to build this up. Will they find a switch? Do they have a switch? 
they don't. All right, good. They have 40 HP. We're only doing 30. We're going to be just shy of a knockout. So we have to knock it out with Spiral Jet. Or we draw Vitality Band, which lets us knock him out too. That works too. That's a pretty good draw. Vitality Band making all the difference. So we got rid of the Rillaboom, which is good. And now we just got to take out the Egg Grab. Now, I'm predicting they're going to go for Tropical Hour GX, which I don't really think is going to make a difference for them because everything attacks for one energy pretty much, other than the Inteleon, obviously. But I'm not going to use Inteleon right now. And if they use a Tropical Hour GX, that means they can't one-shot my Inteleon anymore. But, oh, they're going to get back... Oh, never mind. A boss order. I thought they were going to get back the Mallow and Lana. Oh, they bumped the Stadium. Rip. We do that training court, though, so it's all Gucci. There's a tag call. Another egg route. Going through two egg routes might be tough. We did knock out the Rillaboom, though. And they, if they get another Grookey here, we could... We could boss order knock it out, but I think we just want to take out the egg route as quick as possible. And, oh, they're actually going to calming Hurricane. All right, fine by me. <sighs> they're going to heal a lot of damage. This is where the matchup is going to be a little tough. There's too much healing. All right, what do we draw? Okay. So we can go here. I'm trying to think what I want to do. So we're going to have the Evo Incense for the Barrascuta number two. We're not getting much value out of Erica. We actually could bring in this aggro here with Boss's Order and hit it for 130. Which I actually don't hate. Let's do this. Yeah, I actually don't hate that idea. There's a good chance they don't have a switch in their hand. And they did get back a Malana, so we might as well. Oh, did I attach to this guy by accident? Yo, I think I did. Oh, no. Oh, rip. That was a misplay. Yeah, I think I attached this guy by accident. Oof, oopsie. 140 HP left. We don't have our Vitality Man. Yeah, that was... I attached... This. I wasn't paying attention. No. All right, he has an Air Balloon. Does he have an Energy, though, to go with it? Oh, yeah, the training court. But I didn't even... Wait, he had an energy in the discard? I didn't even realize. All right, rip. That's fine. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. This is the problem with this matchup, man. This is too much healing, bros. Too much healing. There's nothing we can do. I don't they got a research. So they're swinging here for sure. And they are playing the Rillaboom build. Oh, they're out of Rillabooms now altogether. That's good. So they have the Ornay Rod to get those back. I'm pretty sure they don't play four Rillabooms. So it looks like they are completely out of Rillabooms here. There's an Ordinary Rod. Never mind. They got the Rillabooms back. I mean, our win condition isn't looking good. I honestly don't know if we can take out all these Egg Rows. No, nope, they got a Grookey. It doesn't matter. They could just do a Super Growth here, which I highly doubt they will. Hmm. Yeah, this ain't good, guys. This is not good. We're low on energy, too. We still have a Fisherman, though. There's a counter gain. That's perfect, actually. This is what I'm going to plan to do. We're going to go Inteleon. We're going to attack with Inteleon here. We're going to get back. We're going to get Ornery Rod and Research. The reason I'm getting back the Research instead of this, because it doesn't look like he's going to bench anything else, so we probably won't get much value out of an Erica draw here. Erica's only good when they have a full bench and you're trying to draw into another energy combo piece. We can play the research now. I don't really want to. I don't really want to waste this energy retrieval. We can play the Erica. Try to get... Never mind. I was hoping for a little Barrascuta guy. Do we want to do Training Court to put back an energy? I think we should. It could, the Stadium could get bumped, and this is one extra energy we have to work with. We should probably attach here, actually, too. I'm just going to go Aqua Bullet. Only 120 damage. We can hit this other Egg Route, which now means we can knock it out with Barrascuta down the road. And we'll see. They can Calming Hurricane. It won't knock me out unless they play Vitality Band or something, which I highly doubt they do. They have the Tropical Hour knock me out if they want to take out this Inteleon. We're trying to make it as hard as we can on them here. I don't know if we can pull it off to win this game. It's just really also going to come down to a Life Forest. That's also something I'm scared of here is Life Forest. And once they build up this, they can start to reheal it. So we got to get as much damage on as we can. Yeah, I'm pretty scared of a life force. We actually don't have a counter stadium to it. So if they get a life force in play, guys, this game's probably about over. And there is the Tropical Hour Energy. We'll see if they go for it or not. Ooh, they're going to Marnie me. Rip that hand. We just 
still get something good here. Okay, we still got the Inteleon. This hand's actually decent. We have an ordinary route to go with it. And a Capacious Water Bucket. So I'm just scared of a Life Forest. Life Forest, I think I lose a game. Okay, just a Tropical Hour GX. So we're going to have to attack with the Bear Scuta here. Bring in the Ditto. What do we draw? Perfect top deck. So we're going to Ordinary Rod. We're going to get back the Scutas. We could also get back another Teleon line. I don't think we need it anymore. I think we just have to get back the Bear Scutas. Hmm. We'll play this. Well, maybe we should have held it. I don't know. No, it's fine. Let's just go Cynthia. We should have actually just went Training Core and then Cynthia into it. Never mind, we got it anyways. We got the Eldegoss, so we can boss's order knock that out next turn if we want. And we can play the training cord again. We can keep playing the training cord here to just keep and get back energy, which I think is pretty good. And we're just gonna spiral jet. We can knock out the egg row and knock this out. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully the training cord sticks around a little longer. The only thing I'm scared of again, guys, is life forest. There's that Rillaboom number two. They could even attack me with this if they really wanted to. This game's going to be pretty close, it looks like. Let's see what my opponent can do here. They're going to be able to heal. Again, I don't think they have another Malana, which is good. If they do a... If they switch into this egg route, we're going to... I think we're going to knock them out with Power. Or actually, we can knock them out with Inteleon. Yeah, that seems pretty good, too. Never mind, we can't use Inteleon. Fuck, we already have a counter game gone. There's an Eldegoss... <laughs> Get back to Malana. That ain't good. That's really not good. We have to get another uh, Bear Scuta down. ASAP. Ooh, this is not good. We can't even attack this, because then it just floats up. I think we're going to have to take an L here, guys. We're really far behind in prizes, too. I don't think we can take out both egg routes. They're heavily damaged. There's just too much healing, man. It's good we haven't seen a life force yet, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to win this. There's just too much healing. They're actually gonna... Are they gonna Mal Lana heal this egg route? What are they doing? If they don't heal this, we can knock it out with Mew. But I don't think we can take two prizes to finish the game off, unfortunately. It doesn't really look that possible. Hmm. Unless their game plan is to mount on this and go into this and then calming Hurricane, that's not really going to matter too much for my opponent, though. So I'm kind of confused. They are doing it? Okay. That's fine. We're s oh, they're going to go into the Rillaboom. They can't attack me, though. Do they have a switch? They do. I guess we'll still fully heal this. All right, that's fine. Hmm. I don't think we can take the final two prizes, though. That's the only problem. If we could attack with Inteleon here, that'd be pretty big, because we can knock this out. I'm trying to think what I can do. We could try to boss order trap this Rillaboom. They are down... 6 energy. They're down 9 energy. I don't think trapping that's going to matter, though. I don't think we can win this. There's, the healing is what kind of puts us over the edge from being able to to get a dub here, I think. They have two cards in their hand, so there's a chance they don't have a supporter, but they have already played... They've only played one Research, one Marnie. What we could do, though, is we could try to trap this Rillaboom here. We can bring in the Rillaboom into the active. We could also bring this into the active, and then we can knock this out with Psy Power. I feel like we're going to need Eldegasso to win the game at some point, but this play might actually work. Maybe. Well, that could turn to a Rillaboom VMAX. I just think we do want to trap this then. This is, I think, my only other best play I can pull off. It's just not looking good. I don't really know where to put this 10 damage. I guess on this. If we could take one more prize. If we, all, if we only had to take one more prize, we could win this game by knocking this out. But it's, like, not going to happen. All right, what's we looking at here? Not really too much. We've already exhausted most of our supporters. 
Yeah, they had the Rillaboom, so I'm glad I didn't trap this. That would've just been a bad idea. Let's see if they have a switch. I mean, they could have an energy too, but again, they've burned through nine energy. So the chance of them having an energy in their hand with a two card hand, three card hand, and also to retreat, I think that's asking for a lot. I'm gonna hopefully pray they didn't have an energy. They played nine energy. Do they really? Bro. <laughs> okay, they did that research. Yeah, I figured. That's gonna be game. There's no way we are gonna be able to win this. There's too much healing. Yeah, that's gonna be that. We put up a fight. We tried. We tried, but again, guys, the amount of healing that deck does is just not good. So you gotta scratch Rillaboom off this list for decks that this deck can beat. But we showed up the deck pretty well there. We still had a pretty good match. It's just, again, Rillaboom, Eggrow, too much healing, too hard to beat. All right, guys, getting into game number two here. We're up against Muscle Band TCG with what looks to possibly be a fire deck, which is good for us. So, like, that's one of the nice things about maybe playing this Bear Skewer deck. There is quite a few people playing fire right now, I find, on the ladder, whether it be Cephalon or Firebox, because fire did do pretty well at Limitless Q3. We do get that Sobble start here. Not the most amazing of opening hands. We need to find another basic here. We do have that Drizzle, though, which is good. Oh, they're playing a Chandelure deck. All right, we'll see if we can take down Chandelure. See if we draw... Ooh, for Water Energy. Do I want to attack? Is it worth it? I think... Or, sorry, do I want to hold the hand? I think I'm going to research. <laughs> very, very likely we get donked. Um, oh, we didn't get another basic. Oh, that's a big yikes. Hmm. Oh, we're just gonna have to hope they don't have Hurricane Chandelure. I don't know what else to do, unfortunately. This was not the research I was hoping for. That was a bad research. Not a single basic in sight. Okay, they're gonna Marnie me, which hopefully clunks their hand up to not find a rare candy chandelure. Uh, okay, we got a ditto. Not much else, but at least it's something to give us another turn, hopefully. And just to find a friend, which gets them a fire Pokemon. So they could get a lamp in here. They could also get the chandelure if they have the rare candy in their hand. They get the lamp in. All right, come on. Top deck of goals. I mean, actually, I'll, I'll take that. That does, that does put back the... Uh, that does put back the Drizzle and the Bear Scuda, which we do need. We actually get to knock him out with Water Gun here, so we might as well take that. This is a very hilarious start to this video, but it's what we got to do, unfortunately. But not much else we can do about this. We do get a prize. Maybe, just maybe, it's something relevant. How we looking? That's another Water Energy. Well, the good news is there's a chance they don't have a knockout here. The bad news is we have no good cards in our hand. They drop off a Lynx down. I think they're just playing a Chandelure deck with like a jillion Pokemon. I saw Tricky Jim's video on it. There's a Elder Goss. They're going to Marty me again. Okay. I am down for this. Uh, will they evolve the Lampent, though? That's the question. If they evolve the Lampent here... Um, no, they're not. Okay, so that means they're going to try to get a Rare Candy off of this Marnie. The, hopefully, this gives us a good hand. It gave us the... All right, it gave us a Drizzle. That's all we needed was a Drizzle. Uh, if they knock me out, that does complicate things, though. But we have a... And we have the perfect hand here, as long as we don't get knocked out. There's a Calm. Uh-oh, did they get the Rare Candy Chandelure? Uh, no, they get another Lamp... A uh, Litwick, I think. I think we're living. Yep, we are. Nice. And they martyred us into a pretty good hand, too. We got the Barrascuta. We got the Drizzle, my Nizzle boy. And we're definitely just going to get a research here for sure. Never mind, we're out of research. Could actually just get an Erica here because we have the Capacious Water Bucket. So we'll just take the Erica's Hospitality. We'll air balloon the Drizzle so we don't have to pay an energy to retreat. We'll thin the deck out here. No energy in the discard for Training Court. And we'll Erica. We just need one energy. I guess we can knock him out with Peck anyway, so it wouldn't, really, wouldn't even matter. This is not not a bad start for us. Uh, we'll get rid of one water. Get another Era Cuda guy. And we'll training court the water energy back into the hand. Never punished. We're going to take a knockout here with Peck. We're going to Peck that. I kind of feel bad. My opponent's just not really finding what they're looking for. It's very likely to get Shane to learn and play. They are down two prizes already, though, so... They're going to need a lot to catch up. That's the problem in their, with their position right now. They do need to do a lot to catch up. And with that Eldegoss sitting in play, um, that could be a pretty easy boss's order target. They get the Rare Candy, which means they have the Chandelure in their hand, most likely. But do they have another... Do they have an Energy? Do they have a Supporter? They might have another Marnie. That could be pretty bad. because I actually do like this hand if they do have a Marnie. Okay, they had the, uh, the Training Court. Completely forgot. But do they have a supporter? They don't. Spirit Burner will knock me out. Uh, that will put a Ninetales in play for them. 
which means I could gust out my Inteleon. Speaking of Inteleon, I think we're just going to attack with Inteleon here instead of Barrascuta. I think we just try to hit with the Inteleon. Bring in the Drizzle. All right, come on, good draw. Water. All right, well. Yeah, we're going to go Inteleon, assuming it's not prized. I don't think it is. All right, if one is, maybe we'll get off the prizes. Go Inteleon. I don't think we can get another Drizzle in play, which I wouldn't mind doing. I think what we're going to do is we're going to get this and... I mean... I don't even know what else I want to get. I definitely want a Quick Ball. Um, this will just take Cynthia. Just in case we want to hold the hand or something. We'll attach the Sobble, build up another Inteleon. We'll get rid of this, and of course, we can Training Court that back. We'll get ourselves the other Arascuta. <laughs> we could actually play um, Boss's Order here, too, but I think what we're going to do is just take a knockout with Aqua Bullet, and we're going to hit this Eldegoss for 20, and maybe just maybe we can knock it out with Vitality Band or something with Arascuta at some point. Which I think we can do, right? Because we hit it for 20 more damage, it'll have 140 HP left, and then a a Vitality Banded Spiral Jet will knock it out. So that kind of maps out our game plan here. We can pull that off actually in a couple turns because we do have the Evo Incense for the Drizzle, which will get us the Vitality Band unless they Marnie us. It's not looking good for them though. It's not looking good for them. Yeah, it's a call for family. So yeah, we, we do have game in a couple turns unless they Marnie me here. We just knock this out, hit this for 20, and go from there. Let's see, we draw. Another, ooh, Shrine of Punishment. Uh, I think it's fine to let him keep the training court. I have no qualms with that. Put that water energy there. We're just going to take the Aqua Bullet. We're just going to hold the hand and act like nothing's nothing's going on. Because then maybe they won't Marnie me, right? You know, or reset me if they play it. I don't know. We're just going to hold the hand. There's the Italian off the prizes. Beautiful stuff. And we do have game next turn unless my opponent fo somehow floats up or if they get rid of my hand. There's a Rosa. That will not get rid of my hand. This is a very interesting Chandelure deck. When I was thinking about building Chandelure uh, with the new Lamp Pen, I did not consider playing it with like a bunch of Pokemon. That is pretty clever. That's a pretty cool take on the Chandelure boy, but it looks like they just couldn't really get a good footing throughout most of this match. And they were playing against a Water deck, which doesn't really help their case either. So let's see. Do they have a Stamp or anything to get rid of my hand? I don't think this deck does play Reset Stamp. Yeah, they don't. That's going to be game. 250 damage for Spirit Burner. They get rid of a couple Pokemon. Not going to matter. Of course... The Eldegoss is just going to be ripe and for the picking. Unless, unless we prize two Drizzles, I don't think we did. I'm pretty sure we got this, so go Training Court, Evo Incense for the Drizzle. Uh, Vitality Band's 100% there, I remember seeing it. Yep, there it is. Reverse Hall of Vitality Band for the win. We're going to drop the Drizzle. We're going to gust out that Eldegoss with the Boss Order, get the Vitality Band. And that's going to be game with the Barrascuta deck here against my opponent's pretty unique take on uh, Chandelure. Not bad. The deck got a dub. When you're not playing against, you know, Egg Route and stuff that can, like, infinitely heal, like, hundreds of damage, you're, you're chilling. You're chilling. I want to see if we can run to a fire deck, maybe, but uh, we'll move on to another game. All right, guys, get into another game. It looks like we're playing against a Mewtwo deck. I have not seen a Mewtwo deck in a while. I haven't run into a fire deck yet, unfortunately. I would like to play against one just to see how that would play out, obviously. Um, could be an ADP deck. I don't think it is. I think it's Mewtwo. I mean, I haven't run into an ADP deck, which is pretty good. Because ADP, not a great matchup for us. Even with the Shrine and the Vitality Band. Anyways, how are we looking here? Alright. A couple basics is always good. Definitely going to bench that Mew. You never know what they're playing. Alright, let's see. What are they playing? Hopefully it's a Mewtwo deck. I actually think we can beat Mewtwo, to be honest. We can two-shot it with, like, Vitality Band and Shrine. Some Alamar deck. Rip. Alright, we'll put that there. And we'll just pass. How much... So we're only going to be doing 100 damage, which means we can't two-shot this thing. Wow. So we have to get the Vitality Man then to two-shot that. Which is fine. There's a Quick Ball. Uh, the Malamar matchup is tricky, man. Not gonna lie, it is a little tricky. I think one of the main issues is, of course, Spell Tag might be a problem. Now I regret benching the Mew because it opens the door for my opponent to just knock it out. Oh, they're going to get a Dedenne. I'm fine with that. Dedenne. It's a nice little uh, boss's order target. So that definitely changes things. And it looks like they might have to do, do the Dedenne change because they grabbed the Dedenne. They have to give her a Malamar. Oh, right, not a bad turn one. They're probably going to get Giratina here. 
Oh, so I guess this is a Mewtwo Malamar deck. So again, the Gengar Mimikyu, they might Horror House me, which is a little scary, because we're going to lose our Aracuda here, which is not good. Oh, man. Please don't do Horror House. I really don't want to lose this Aracuda, bro. Ooh, Boss Warrior's gone, too. That's good. All right, please don't go for the Horror House. I will cry. I really don't want to lose my Aracuda. No, they're Horror Housing. That means they don't have a Jex stack for the rest of the game, but that is still kind of annoying. And then they're going to knock me out with Poltergeist. Not fun, bro. Not fun. Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? Well, the 20 damage means we get two shot with Inteleon now. So that kind of sucks a lot. We'll have to just attack with Mew, I guess, and sit back and try to build something up. Horror House GX. The GX tech. That is awesome. Nah, but Horror House GX is ridiculous, bro. Seriously. <laughs> Such a ridiculous attack. Alright. Oh, they're going to Marnie me. Well, there goes that. That was actually a decent hand because we had the Cynthia and the other uh, Aracuda. Oh, there's a Drizzle. <sighs> All right. Do they have the energy to attack me? Maybe they don't have it. That's like best case scenario. They don't attack me here. Oh, they have to do another Dead A change. That's like good and bad because that means they're definitely going to get the Poltergeist off, but that's bad. Honestly, if we were... Because we have a lot of outs to not getting bad items. There's a chance they couldn't have Poltergeist knocked me out. Alright. If they whiff an energy here, that will be the greatest thing ever. If they don't whiff it, my boy Aracuda's going to get blasted out of this planet. And then we have to sit behind a Mew and then hope they don't have two bosses order. Alright, did they get the energy? There's no way. They didn't get it? Right? Yeah, they didn't get it. Wow. Alright. Things are looking up. So we'll Evo Incense. We have to get the Drizzle. We can get the Erica here, which is fine. The Shrine's really good too, since all those Denays. If Shrine can stick for like a few turns, I'll be happy. We're gonna play the Vitality Band. We're gonna put that there. We're gonna do this to thin out the deck. It's just so we don't whiff. And we'll go for that big old Erica's Hospitality. Here we go. What are we looking at? A lot of good stuff. That's pretty good. You'll love to see it. We'll get rid of a Sobble. We'll get another Aracuda. This is looking pretty juicy. And we will hit this thing for 110, which allows us to two-shot it. Now, we're going to get knocked out. Wait, what? 120, right? Okay, never mind. Oh, no, it does knock me out, Derp. So, we are going to get knocked out by this guy. But then we can, of course, uh, clean it up with an Inteleon. Pretty good stuff. And we can maybe try to play around Poltergeist, too, which is going to be pretty good for us. There's a research. Will they get a Counter Stadium? They're down three switches too, so yeah, that's good. No, they got a counter, but that actually kind of does help us. And to be fair, we are we just needed 10 damage on a Denny to boss order anyways, because we can snipe it for 20 with Inteleon, which is what we're going to do. So it kind of works out in the end. And the Verdian actually does help us too with uh, Barracuda, right, so that's actually fine. So they're going to Revenge Blast for the knockout. If only that did 110 damage. But we are going to try to take a knockout with Inteleon here. Um, quick Ball. I am going to actually just play the Quick Ball over the Capacious Bucket. Alright, hopefully we don't whiff Inteleon here off of the research. That would suck a lot. Nice, we got it. And we're going to have to get the counter gain too, of course. So we're going to get Evo Incense. For the other Drizzle, right? I could get Ordinary Rod too. Ordinary Rod might actually be better. Yeah, let's get Ordinary Rod. We have it. Oh, we already. Yeah, we already have the Evo. So we're good. We're good. We just get Ornery Rod. Put back these two boys. Could have gone back to Sobble actually too, because we do have that Ditto still, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, what else are we doing? Do we want to play Viridian Force or something? I really want to get rid of per se. So we're just gonna settle with the Knockout here with Aqua Bullet. Hit the Dedenne for twenty. Oh, it's minus thirty. No. I'm dumb. All right. Well, they have 10 HP left, and they can get side powered, so that's not too bad. They are gonna get knocked out with the Gengar. Oh, my math was off. That's sad. Oh, we should have went with the Bear Scuda. My math is so bad. That's pretty bad. That was a pretty bad uh, little misplay on my end. It is what it is, though. They're actually gonna put more energy on this thing, which doesn't really make any sense. What are they doing? 
Oh, Marnie, that's big. We might not get a supporter. It's all the supporters. We have three in our hand. Yep, there's a bad hand. That's not good. We will have to just go Mew, I think, knock out this double. Unless they don't take a knockout here, they kind of... They made a really weird play where they attached to this. So I don't really get why they did that. I mean, I guess they can still build up this. I guess they just did that to retreat for two, keep two on that. Bring, build up Gengar. We only have one item. They're not even knocking me out. Oh my god. That is insanely big. And there's a Cynthia top deck. Never punished. In fact, we're actually going to thin the deck out here. Because um, I don't think we need that many bear scooters anymore. Ooh. The misplace. The punishes. And there we go. We got this guy. Now we're in business. Now we'll take the knockout. And we will put 20 damage onto Dene again. Seems good to me. So now we have two Dene's to hit for a knockout. Okay, say Aurora Energy. Do something. I guess I can't do Dingo turn. There's a Drizzle. Energy Retrieval. All good stuff. We could see a Reset Stamp. We could also see another Marnie here. They've already played two Marnies. And they have a five card hand. They bring in the Malamar too. So I don't know why they just bring Gengar. They actually don't. Oh, never mind. I thought we had full HP. Never mind. I thought it was like we, they don't take a lockout here. But they do. Now we actually could play around Poltergeist's damage anyways. Because as you can see, we only have three trainers. And we can play at least two of them next turn. So we actually might be able to play around the uh, Poltergeist next turn. They still have to move the Malamar. I guess I could type Giratina. Um, but we can then drizzle for boss order, knock this out, and avoid Bocephalon. I think they're trying to make me walk into a Bocephalon play. So I think we're just going to knock out the Dedene here. So we avoid Bo uh, Baby Balloon. Seems good. Yeah, it seems good. So all I have to do is knock out Dedene. Take out a couple more Pokemon, we can win the game. Seems cool to me. No, the Marnie! Dang it, they had another Marnie, and there goes our boss's order out. Or not. We just get the energy in the- Alright, that works too. Our hand is a little dead, but we are going to get two prizes. So as long as we just look at Sam to one, we should be good here. This is looking decent, guys. Let's see where they put this 40 damage to. They're going to hit themselves, which opens up the door for a possible Intellion knockout down the road. Alright, here we go. Hopefully we just top deck a Drizzle. Ah, man, I'm speechless, bro. I'm actually speechless. That is insane. That is insane. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know what I really want to get here. Hmm. We'll just take a supporter. No, we want to keep our supporters in the deck, right? Yeah, I think we'll take a... Energy Retrieval, so we can attach another energy here. And just burn in this out of the deck. Let's put that there. Bosses order the Dedene. And knock it out. We might get stamped too. We might also see another Marnie. But we got all our supporters in the deck and it's all shuffled. And let's see what our prices are. Ornate Rod is not good. Quick Balls can get us Eldegoss at least. Actually, we have game next turn, right? We go Eldegoss here. Viridian, Bosses order, knock out Dedene to win the game. So we have game next turn. So things are looking good. We just have to not get stamped or marnied, and it looks like we're going to take a dub over Mewtwo Malamar here. Maybe. I don't want to jump the gun just yet. But they've already played their Jix attack, so there's not much else they can really do. They can't do Maracas Duo to fully heal. So yeah, we might have walked out with a win here. Let's see if they have a way to disrupt my play. I think Eldegoss is in the deck, right? Yeah, it's in the deck. It's on the discard. And there's a Shadow Impact, which means... We should have game here unless I nothing can really happen. So I think we just win here by knocking out the Dedene. Let's bring in the Barascuta. What do we top deck? Alright. So we go Quick Ball, away Air Balloon. For the Eldegoss, yep, that's gonna be game. Drop Inteleon here. Get the old energy retrieval. Just why not, bro? Just why not? We don't even have to play the energy. We'll just go training court. And that will be game with Barascuta, guys. It looks like over my opponent here. And yeah, that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Barascuta deck. Pretty fun deck to play. Um, definitely has its bad matchups for sure. But every deck has bad matchups. But other than that, the deck played pretty well. Uh, any changes I would make, maybe just go heavier on the Drizzle Engine. I don't know. Ooh, we get to buy a pack from the shop. Yeah, let's do it. Let's 
open up a little pack of cards here, get ourselves an Undaunted pack, just because, again, guys, I'm trying to get the RDL. I really, again, Legacy content will be coming back for the time now. Like, it's too early to go back to Legacy content because we have Rebel Clash videos still to make, but when I do go back to Legacy, before Darkness of Blaze comes out, and of course, we're in that, like, dry period, Legacy content will return, but... We'll see here what we open up in this pack. Come on, give me that RDL. Or give me a Versal Vile Plume. That'd be good. We get double rare. Ooh, Scizor Prime. Nice. That's a pretty decent card. All right, cool stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys, on the deck. If you enjoyed, drop a like on the video. Subscribe down below to help me we're reaching 9,000 subscribers. Um, and 8,400 subscribers. And yeah, that'll be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed, and bye-bye.